Hey guys, it's Eric Slink, and we're back with episode 8 of the Path of the Exile Let's Play. So, uh, last episode we killed Marvel the boss, the Act 1 boss, which is cool. We got some good loot from her. I think we got, uh, some boots. Yep, some pretty good boots. So, uh, we did that, and then we did that lantern quest. We got the lantern from the dead slave girl, which is a weird thought, a, uh, a, a disturbing thought. <laughs> and, um,. And then some dude turned into a skeleton, we killed him, he dropped, like, uh, a ring? A ring or something? A blah 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 ring? Something we're not gonna use. Uh, before we start, you know, going throughout the, uh, the episode, we're just going to sell some items, just cause my inventory's getting quite full. Actually, first we're gonna go ahead and stash some items. So, we're gonna put that mallet in. Uh, we're going to... Ch -ch -ch we don't use those, do we? I wonder how much da more damage I do when I when I actually have this equipped. We do 62.8, and now we do 64.9, yeah. Um, the reason, if anyone's wondering, the reason I'm keeping those instead is because the evasion rating is, I think, a little more important than the, uh, the damage. Just because it's, a, like, a two difference in damage, it's not going to really save us for any from anything or something. But, um, what I am going to do with this is I'm going to save it for a melee character, I guess, if I decide to play through again, make another Let's Play with a melee character, even. So, uh, yeah. Um, as for this, I think we're just going to stash this. Uh, I don't know what we... Actually, no, we're going to go ahead and sell that. That We're not going to use that for anything. We're going to go ahead and sell that as well. And we never unidentified this, but we're just going to go ahead and put that in there for a witch character if we decide make one so uh we'll go ahead and put that and this in there as well um we will put what kind of ring is this coral ring okay we have we'll just put one more ring in there the that for a witch character i guess and we'll put the gold ring in there as well just because i don't want to sell that and ch -ch -ch -cha. well i think we will sell these items. I doubt we'll get anything good, but, you know, I just want space. Not that it's really a problem. God, I love the inventory in this game so big compared to some <coughs> other action RPGs. Uh, sweet, I think we actually finished an orb of alter... Oh, wow. Reforge is a magic, pro magic item with new random properties. Yeah. Um... It's something we'll keep on us. I don't see us having any need for it with the items we have right now, so yeah, we'll just keep that. And now I think we should be on our way to Act 2, right? Act 2 is now unlocked. Sweet. Act Cavern of... 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 what is it? Oh, we're gonna have to go through here again, aren't we? Okay. So, we have to go through here and then take that passage to Act 2. Damn, that's that's pretty disappointing. Let me check if the waypoint can't just take us to Act 2 now, just because we didn't freaking go through that door. That's ridiculous. Well, don't think that's happening. Ah, that's unfortunate. Whatever. Um, I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the episode here, and once we get there, I'll just record filming. So, hi. We'll see you then. So hey guys, I'm back, and I just wanted to check if you could actually kill Mar- kill Marvel again, and apparently you could, as you can see, I'm standing over her dead body, and she didn't really drop anything good, she did drop, a uh, armor scrap or something like that, but, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open that chest again, just cause, you know, it's, it has good stuff in it, so, I'm gonna head, go ahead and do that, and then we'll just, oh, okay, that's a lot of stuff, and we'll just go, uh, into Act 2, and get to the first area, or the first town. Hmm. Okay, yep. Uh, we did level up again, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, ch 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 bow damage? Okay, sweet. So now we do 64.2. Uh, so I was actually going through this area, area when I wasn't recording, I mean, and, um, I found a bow, and it actually did more than mine. It was called a composite bow or something, but I think what we'll do, I didn't pick it up, but I think what I'll do is, uh, once we get to the next area, we're gonna purchase 
a bow and see how good that is and see what effects it, it can do and I suppose we can buy a new one or a normal one and um, use an orb of transmutation or whatever on it just so we could add a magical property to it so it's not so bad yep we got that waypoint right I'm not sure if you have actually had to click on waypoints in this game I know in Diablo 2 you had to, so uh, I'm just I'm just making sure. Oh, so so yeah, Act 2, Forest Act. It's pretty cool. It's definitely pretty as crap. I love it. It's definitely eye candy. I uh, I really enjoy how they made it into a forest. I was thinking it was going to be something like a desert, kind of like what they did in Diablo 2. But, no, no, it's a forest. Looks great, too, like I said. <laughs> and these apes drive me crazy. Ugh. I wonder if we could just run through, get to the first town. Oh. And, uh, guys, I am going to end the episode once we do get to the first town, so I apologize that this was a short episode. But my last two episodes were like, what, 30 minutes long or even more? So, uh, I think, I think you got your fair share of Path of the Exile out of that, <laughs> that day anyway. So, uh, hope that was enough for you. I didn't even mean to record that long, but I had to get so much done in one episode, so, yeah. Damn, that is a lot of mobs. I don't even want to get stuck in between those, for obvious reasons. Oh, run. There. Okay, sweet. Okay, so here is the town. Um... I really hope this wasn't, like, a six-minute episode. You know what? What we'll do is I will, I will look at someone's stash. And blah, blah, blah. Talk to this guy, I guess purchase items. Okay. So this is the bow I was talking about. Uh, well, not, not the exact bow, but as you can see, pretty nice. 25 to 58 compared to our 11 to 42. I thought that was good. I, I don't know why I thought the longbow was good. I forgot why. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, huh. It already does have a magical property wonder if we could re-roll it. I actually like that magical property, though. Let's see if they have anything else worth. No, uh, we also should buy some new armor. I definitely want to buy a new headpiece. So let's go ahead and buy that first, just because... Yeah. Okay, um... I... 61 to evasion. I like that. I think what we'll do with this is we'll re-roll it. What? 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 No, not a, not a blue. I don't want to... <sighs> Whatever. Oh, okay. Um... Ch -ch -ch. Let's go ahead and buy that bow, actually. Right now. Damn. I wish we could find, like, an orb of alchemy or something. This one does attack faster, too. Or this one right here, yeah. Ah, uh, I wish they were selling a normal one. You know what? What we'll do is we'll actually first level up these gems. Wow. And, uh, I think next episode is when we will decide to buy those. Let me go ahead and take a look at the other vendors' inventories. No, not the stash. Okay, I'm trying to, trying to not... Ah, there. Okay. Sweet. Guess we can get the, the stuff from them, too. The quests. The quests. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's expensive. Um, orb of... Removes all properties from an item. Why would you want that? Orb of regret, we already know what that is. We already know what that is. Tool this orb, right click this and left click. Reforges number of sockets. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did find a, uh, a unique, or not a unique, a rare cleaver and a, uh, a gold ring that's magic, so I'm just gonna... <sighs> be awesome if it, like, increased the, uh... Oh, no. Well, 
Whatever, that's still good. I mean, 12% increased rarity. If you ever want to make a magic find build, that's the sort of rings you want to find. Uh, 32 to 93. Holy crap, that's good. Compared to my build, anyway. We're just... Damn, can't talk. Um, We're going to go ahead and just put that in our stash. Just because... uh. Like I said, if we decide to make that melee character, that's pretty useful. It has two red sockets. We could always um, make those link together, and then it's it's just a good item. We're going to go ahead and keep that. Uh, silk, silk. Oh, that's the person's name. I thought that was the quest. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this person's inventory again. Uh, well, um... Huh. What's this? Whoa. Okay. That's actually pretty nice if you wanna... Well, yeah, whatever. Um, be awesome if we could find, like, one that gives to... Oh, sweet. That's also something you'd want if you're going to Magic Find Build, I guess. Huh. Well. Okay, so, um, I think what we'll do is we will... I don't know. Still trying to decide on that bow. I think what we'll do actually is instead of buying it, let's proceed through the level and maybe find a rare one, already rare, <laughs> or maybe find a normal one that we can just add a magical effect to and maybe have it better. Because uh, I don't, I don't, I'd, as the orbital augmentations aren't. Well, actually, they are pretty good. They add a new random property to your equipment, but um. They're they're not that rare, but uh, I just I don't know I, d I don't want to spend something before before I know if I can get it because if I could just go out into like the first area and find one that's better I I don't want to buy from a vendor obviously but uh huh okay yeah so uh, we're gonna go ahead and end the end the episode here thanks for watching guys if you could give it a thumbs up or favorite that'd be great if you enjoyed the episode then uh. Oh well, yeah, give it a thumbs up or favorite it. Uh, so yeah, once again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next episode. Peace out.